We want to get to that manhunt after that horrific crime was posted on Facebook. Five states are on alert this morning. ABC's Alex Perez is in Cleveland, Ohio with the latest. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Robin. Police are pleading with the suspect to turn himself in. The FBI and local investigators have been working through the night to try to catch up with him. Found me somebody about to kill. I'm about to kill this guy right here. The old dude. This morning, the FBI and Cleveland police on a desperate manhunt for the man they believe is responsible for a random act of cold-blooded murder. We know who he is and that he will eventually be caught. Officials issuing an aggravated murder warrant for Steve Stevens. They believe Stevens shot and killed 74-year-old Robert Godwin. The seemingly senseless murder posted on Facebook. On Sunday afternoon, Stevens allegedly approached the elderly man, savagely killing him just seconds after telling him he is about to shoot him because of a woman. All right, can you do me a favor? Can you say Joy Lane? What? Can you say Joy Lane? Joy Lane? Yeah. She's the reason why um, this is about to happen to you. The homicide too disturbing for us to show. One male shot, GSW to the face. This man right here was a good man. And I just hate, I'm, I, I hate he's gone. Five states on high alert this morning as the search intensifies. Overnight, a ping from Stevens' cell phone detected near Erie, Pennsylvania. Authorities say Stevens, who mentored foster kids at a mental health facility, posted on Facebook that he had lost everything due to gambling. I just snapped. In another post a Sunday, before what Stevens calls the Easter Day slaughter, he says he killed at least 13 other people. That's what I did. That's what I, did. I killed 13 people. But police say there's no evidence to back up his claims. We want this to end with as much uh, peace as we can bring to this right now. And uh, we want him to turn himself in. He's believed to be driving a white Ford Fusion. Authorities say Stevens posted the crime after it happened and did not Facebook Live it as initially thought. Uh, authorities this morning reminding the public he's considered armed and very dangerous. Robin? Yes, he is. All right, Alex, thank you. We're going to bring in ABC News consultant and former FBI special agent Brad Garrett. There are no words for a crime like this. What are police doing? What are authorities doing to find him? Well, the real key is going to be, Robin, is I think tracking his cell phone. He apparently is still using it. It pinged in Erie County, Pennsylvania. So that's why you have this five state alert to look for him. The disturbing part of this is he apparently just kills a total stranger. So you don't really have a direction to go maybe of other potential targets for him. And you also don't know the mindset of this guy. What is really driving him? Mm -hmm. He worked at this facility with children. His girlfriend apparently made some comments. She didn't see any signs of this. So what really happened to this guy? I don't buy that he snapped because nobody snaps. This stuff builds up over a period of time and then people launch. Uh, we're, we're getting some information and you have to be careful to how much you, you want people to be aware in, in, the, in the particular states, but you don't want also for this guy to possibly be knowing that they're, they're, they're closing in on him. Right. So how do you balance the two? You, you balance the two by the, by the following way. You tell the public, look, you need to tell us if you see this car or see mm. this guy, and then back off, call local law enforcement and let them handle it. But you need the eyes and ears of the public probably to catch him. We, we've talked about this before, and the, the crime by itself is, is horrendous. The fact that it was posted online just adds to it. Is there anything that can be done to prevent crimes like this from being posted? Facebook is actually fairly good at capturing these things and pulling them off. They've done it a lot with pornography and other really super violent things. So, yes, but up to a certain extent. Think about the billions of postings every day. They do have software to pull certain things out. I don't know that they do on something quite like this immediately. Yeah.